Okay, this is in Port Charlotte, and this is Kings Highway here. And then this intersection right here, this is with Kings Highway and Miami Trail um, in Port Charlotte. We have four mercury vapor rich lights. Now, th trust me, that tree, I wish I could show you the difference between what I see visually and what that tree looks like on this camera. Um, it doesn't look like anything really that green. Um, the tree, a lot of the tree is like, it's just kind of lit up, but on here it's really bright. It's almost like something's shining on the tree directly from like a different angle, like from our angle, but where we can't see the light or something, or from the right side. But actually, indeed, that light is actually inside the tree, and it's really not that illuminated visually. Um, there is a second one right there. There is a third one right there. Keep in mind too that the sky, this is twilight actually. And even like the green colors and the sky, the sky doesn't even show up. The sky actually looks a little greener than it looks like on this camera, by the way. I just want to make that point, which is really weird. Um, but these lights, they show up greener. I don't know why. There's some, either some spectrum of red that gets neglected by cameras or some spectrum of blue or uh i don't think it's yellow it's probably if, if it's like blue it could be blue otherwise it's like green that's just really this camera really picks up just a certain spectrum of green and like other cameras not just this camera i know of at least three cameras where i've done it i don't know of a single camera that i've looked at a light uh that's mercury vapor in which uh, it wasn't greener. In fact, you can look that up online. You'll find out they, they talk about that online too, but I just still don't know why. So uh, I just want to make the point that we have four of these at an important intersection. If you take a left at that intersection, there's the bridge that goes over, ooh, I don't know the name of that body of water, that goes down to Punta Gorda down there. So that's very interesting to me. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't say it's really interesting, but to somebody learning this and who doesn't believe what I'm saying, that should be kind of interesting to you. Um, yeah. So just another example of, in which mercury vapor rich lights, they actually use mercury vapor in metal in the metal halide lights. And that mercury vapor, along with some other kind of secondary gas can get excited. Uh, it starts out with an ultraviolet filament that makes the mercury vapor get excited, heat up, turn like the slightly green color uh, with a lot of, you can see the violet. I mean, if you look at these visually, you know what I'm talking about. You can definitely tell that there's high violet spectra. Um, kind of like the purple street lights, in fact, um, which is kind of interesting to me. Those are LED though. These use a gas inside of a little tube. That's really small, but really bright and emits this stuff. By the way, that doesn't look green. And we do see the oscillation in this. Um, I don't know if it has to do with the camera, like the frames per second on the camera, but in Joplin, Missouri, I have a video already in which visually it wasn't visible, but on camera, uh, you could see it. That is visually, I can see that it's oscillating or changing uh, at the light source, even on the leaves there. It has nothing to do with the leaves. So, yep, anyway. Thanks.